Welcome to the July version of Makers Creative Collab, where creatives join together to interpret a common theme. This month, our theme was Fly Me to the Moon. What you will see here are the YouTube participants in the collaboration, but if you would like to see what the non-YouTubers are doing, you can catch them over at the group that is hosted by PM Artist Studio, who also hosts this hub. And that group is called Makers of Mixed Media Art forward slash artists. And you can catch up with what the non-YouTubers are doing there. So let me share with you my interpretation of Fly Me to the Moon. But first, let me tell you who I am. My name is Peg, and I am the youngest of the two old crows that live and reside here in the North Georgia mountains and create on a monthly basis in this monthly creative collab. So first I wanted to just share with you what I use to create my project this month. I started with the following substrates. A kid's book. I used a smaller version that I picked up at... Um, Chick-fil-A in the Kids Happy Meal, but it's very, very similar in construction to this one right here, which is on hold for a future project. And I started also with leaves from my iris plants or flags, whatever you call them in your part of the country, but I gathered a bunch of these leaves and I'll show you what I did with them in just a moment. And of course, a manila envelope. So let's get into what I created. And I'll show you first what I did with the iris leaves and the file folder. So I created this little journal. I'm a journaler. I like to write. I like to journal. And you will find most months when I participate in this collaboration that I make some form of a book. So no surprise there, right? But in any event, I think this one's a little different. So I used two file folders and constructed this little journal out of it. You'll see here my phases of the moon down this side. This was created out of these. So I created paper and made paper out of the iris leaves. And I'm actually going to show you a few sheets of that. So this is what I have left, and forgive me for walking away from the camera, but it kind of form it, formed into pages like this. It wasn't perfect paper, but it was certainly worth the experiment, worth the effort, and I think if I ground it a little finer, it would make some nice craft colored paper, but that's what I worked with on this particular project that came from this. So let's open this up and take a peek. I just have the button closure there. This is um, washi tape that I made myself. And I felt like I was trying to get the essence of the craters on the moon and kind of the dark side of the moon, if you will. And the illumination um, is what I used the washi tape for. So I have that very iridescent white paint on there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's a very iridescent color. And you kind of flip it over and you can see it represented on the back as well. When you open this up, <clears throat> what you open up to first is that initial uh, crescent phase of the moon. And I have that bound to a piece of lace that was soaked or painted with plaster of Paris. So the lace becomes um, very rigid, very hard, and I attached my clay phase of the moon 
that I also painted with that iridescent white paint onto the lace with copper and then um, just adhered it down. And that was a 26 gauge copper that I used to, you know, kind of make some stitch marks and, and just a little interest. When you open up this book, you will also see another series or a phase of the moon. I have a um, little pocket here that I created with the iris paper as well as this pocket with the iris paper. And since I was using the iris leaves out of my garden, I also had planted a bunch of wildflowers this year. I didn't. My husband did. <laughs> planted a bunch of wildflowers. So I gathered a lot of those and just uh, encased them in some lamination, I guess would be the best. Well, it is the word for it. It's laminated. And then I created this little pocket here. These two tags were created off of my catch paper. And that is the paper like this. I always put a piece of shipping paper down on my work table. And as you can see, I'm starting to pick a piece of this little piece of purple over here. That was from a project my granddaughter and I were working on. I always leave that down. And then when I finish with it, I fold it up and put it away. And I utilize it in other projects. So that's what these two tags were made from was just that catch paper now when you open this up you have the little waterfall um, notepad and another pocket that's full of these um, little pieces of laminated wildflowers as well as an envelope that just has some little notes or little journaling cards in it that you can record your notes on. And then I also did the same thing in this pocket, another little envelope with some lamination and the journaling cards. And then this was my whole thought process. Um, if you journal and you journal frequently, it is fun to journal with the phases of the moon. And when you begin, you start with that new moon and you kind of make a commitment to journal for one month and you set your goal. You determine your area of growth, what you want to accomplish, set your incentive. And it could be um, anything, you know, set your intention. It could be your artwork, it could be your personal life, it could be work, it could be anything. It's up to you what you want to journal about. But the very beginning of that new moon, you set your goal, determine your area of growth, and set your intentions. Then with the waxing crescent, you plan your execution to achieve your goal. You outline it and kind of detail what you want to do and how you're going to accomplish the intention that you set. And then with the first quarter, you begin to take action and, and execute that plan. So if it's an exercise plan, you can log. I actually went to the gym today and I did X or my goal was to go to the gym on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Today is Tuesday and I had a great workout. So Whatever it is that you have decided to do, this is where you begin to take action. And then with the waxing gibbous, you reflect. What is working? What isn't working? What can I improve? Why didn't it work? Or why did I fall off that intention? There's no right or wrong way. Or why did it work so well? And then, of course, you have the full moon. That's when you celebrate. You know, what have you learned? What have you learned about yourself? How have you grown from keeping track of yourself for one month? And then, of course, you have the waning gibbous. And that is just resetting that dedication. Keep moving forward and, you know, log your progress and, and keep it moving. And then, of course, in the last quarter, just to release it all. You know, what didn't work, what did work, and just let it go. And then it's time to um, follow up with that waning crescent and reflect and prepare 
for that new moon. So that is a great way to kind of guide you throughout a month of journaling in one of the books that, that you create. So this is going to be mine for the next new moon. And uh, that will be August 1st, actually. So I plan on um, creating a little calendar here that tells me when that new moon will arrive, when I can expect a full moon, and so forth and so on. So that is really kind of how this turned out. And then when you flip it over, it's just very plain and simple. These are all the things that are displayed on the back. But that was my first interpretation of this uh, moon, Fly Me to the Moon challenge. I just kind of felt like it would be a good opportunity to let you all know kind of how I like to journal. So there is that. Now, stay tuned for part two, which is this little guy, which was the um, child's book that I got at Chick-fil-A. When I took my grandkids, it came with their Happy Meal, and I talked them out of two of them. <laughs> so I read them to them, and I said, can, can Grandma take this back and, and make something out of it? And they thought that was cool. My granddaughters are so used to they they uh, save junk and say grandma will create something out of this so I made these little charms these are all made of that um, they're dry clay and I made the faces of the moon with that and I also had some moon um, charms in stock so I use those to create this this is the cover that I created out of a piece of uh, cardboard that I had on hand and just some stretchy lace to cover over it. And there you see my full moon that is presenting itself through the cover of my book. And when you open it up, I have um, the phases of the moon on a piece of washi tape that I made out of masking tape. And this little quote, the moon fascinates us in her simplicity and I love that quote and I also was kind of reflecting on you know the different ways that we see the moon when my daughter went to into the military she was very nervous about being away from home she was scared I was scared for her and we made a pact that every evening we would look at the moon and we would know that while I was in Florida and she was in San Antonio Texas going through basic training that we would both be looking at that same moon and thinking about each other at the same time each evening. So I think about that moon that shines over the, the city, the moon that shines over the mountains, and how we are all connected by the phases of the moon and how that moon represents itself to each and every one of us as creatives. There are some of us that are participating from Australia, some from the UK. I, I am in contact with people from Canada, Australia, Germany, the, just all over the world. And this is one thing that we all have in common. We can all see and gaze upon that same beautiful moon in her simplicity. So that, my friends, is my project for the month of July. And I hope that you enjoyed. I hope you will stick around to my end screen and follow along with the next participant. You will have a link and then please, you know, give us that thumbs up, give us a subscribe, give us a like that or a comment. We always appreciate those. And once again, thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy the rest of the hop. Bye for now. Perfection Trust